Hi guys and welcome to the Gontu series. In the earlier tutorials, we saw the complete introduction to Spring Framework. We saw dependency injection concept with a real life analogy. Now is the time to get our hands dirty with some hands on demos. So in this tutorial, I am going to set up the Eclipse ID with the necessary jars to create our first Spring project. This is the Eclipse IDE and there is no project or any setup defined so far. So let's create a fresh Spring project with the name First Spring Project. Right click on the Project Explorer and choose New Java Project. Give name First Spring Project. Click on Finish. So this is the basic setup which Eclipse IDE has created for us. Now to use Spring Framework, we need to have its jars onto the projects class path. You can download the Spring distribution zip from this link on Spring's website. The current Spring version available is 3.2.5 and I'm using that version. I've already downloaded it and unzipped it on the T drive. If you use some dependency mechanism systems, say Maven or Gradle to download the jars or dependencies, you may visit this link to get more information on the paths. Let's go through the Spring's distribution directory structure. You'll find all the required jars in its libs directory. So what we'll do, we will include all these jars in our Spring's projects class path by creating a custom Spring jars library this way. Right click on the project, choose properties. Give a name Spring Jars Library. So this will create the custom library. Now we need to include all Spring Jars in it. Select it and click on add external jars, add all spring jars and then click OK. So this will include all spring jars in the project's class path. Spring framework needs one more jar in the class path which is commons logging.jar. You may download it from this link. I've already downloaded it and unzipped it on my D drive. Let's include this jar also in the class path. We are done with all installation and setup tasks for Spring Framework. In the next tutorial, we'll start writing code for our first Spring project.